Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm a CNET. And in today's video, we're just gonna do a quick head-to-head, -head, side by side comparison of the brand new Nectar Classic versus the old Nectar Original. You can tell this one's newer because the foams look really nice and clean. These foams are kind of old, they've been oxidizing for a while. But we noticed quite a few differences between the new Nectar Classic and the old Nectar Original. First off, the new Nectar Classic is a little bit thinner. It's about 11 inches tall, maybe like 11 and a half, depending on, you know, the foams are never exactly the same from mattress to mattress, so somewhere between 11 and 11 and a half inches thick. Then the Nectar Original, about the same, but the cover adds, you know, maybe a little about a half inch, so it's a little bit thinner. But the biggest thing is the composition of the foam layers. So a three layer all foam design like this is very popular. We see it in a lot of different mattresses like these Nectar beds, like the Casper One, Lisa Original, stuff like that. And on the old Nectar Classic, this top layer is a very thick layer of dense memory foam. So when I push down on it, it'll be kind of slow to respond, which is what we normally see with memory foam beds. Very slow to respond. And then you have the more responsive transition layer that sits right above the dense support foam. Most beds have a transition layer like this because this foam down here is so dense and so harsh, you don't really wanna feel it, but you wanna feel the support from it. Now, if we're looking at the new Nectar Classic, the layers are almost flipped, where the top layer of memory foam is significantly thinner than the transition layer below. So this layer right here, not really all that memory foamy. You can see it springs back really, really fast, which is what we normally see with transition layers. And so this top layer of memory foam is very, very thin. So on this bed, you have much more of that very classic sink-in, body-conforming quality, less so on the Nectar Classic, which is very interesting. And so the top, the top comfort layer of memory foam on the new Nectar Classic is only about an inch thick. And when you compare it to the memory foam layer on the Nectar Original, it's about two and a half to three inches thick. Bare, somewhere in between two and a half and three inches thick. So the thickness of the foam is very, very different. And so the bed winds up feeling quite a bit different. Instead of having that really classic sink in memory foam feel, you can tell this memory foam layer is there, but you wind up with more of a responsive memory foam feel. So maybe you've tried Nectar in the past, but you aren't such a huge fan of memory foam. You'll probably like this new Nectar Classic a lot more. However, if you really, really like this classic memory foam feel, then the new Nectar Classic might not be your thing. You might wanna look into getting the newly updated Nectar Premier or Nectar Lux because this top layer of memory foam is gonna be significantly thicker and give you more of that classic feel. A few other design elements that were different that we noticed is that this top layer of memory foam is copper infused. A lot of brands will talk about having copper infused foams that are supposed to help with temperature regulation and have an antimicrobial quality. It's not something we're able to really verify, but I do think it is a nice addition. And the cover design is also quite a bit different. I like this new cover, it looks much more sleek in my opinion. And the hybrid version of the Nectar Classic has these really, really nice handles that we think are some of the best side handles you've ever tested. Overall, I do think these beds are significantly different from each other despite being from the same brand. Usually when brands do an update, they'll kind of just switch the cover around and call it a day but there's some significant differences between the new Nectar Classic and the old Nectar Original. We're still going through the paces with this mattress. We should have a full review for you very, very shortly. But overall, I think for people who maybe don't love memory foam, this might be a better option than the old version. If you wanna learn more, make sure you check down below in the description. We should have a ton of resources to help you with your online mattress search. But for CNET, this is Owen, and I'll see you in the next one.